Hey everyone! So here's the teeth. I have used those Target bins, like organizing bins, for years. To the point where now I have seven of them around the apartment that I use to just like hold all of my random stuff. And since we moved to this apartment in May, they've gotten really chaotic. I have three that technically live in the kitchen. Two from the living room, and two more from my bedroom. They've kind of gotten really scrambled, and I don't think anything is really effectively stored. I also think I just generally have way too much stuff. So we're gonna organize it. I think. I'm gonna dump them all out to do this. I've been looking for my USA Forever stamps. That's so exciting. I would really love to get rid of one of these bins or like essentially cut down on the amount of bins I have because I really need a place for my winter clothes or like my winter accessories. I've kind of already turned this bin into a winter bin with like my scarves. All my stuff for writing letters that I never write. I have so many stamps. I uh, kind of regret pulling all of this out. This was a strange move. I admit it now. Okay, there's a bunch of stuff in here that I've been holding on for just a little bit too long. Uh, this is a bag of a. Uh, plastic reptiles because I made that Medusa picture. Check out my uh, my semester semester tour, semester project tour if you're curious about what that means. I'm gonna keep them though because I really like them and I want to do more with them. Honestly, we keep one kazoo. The rest need to go. But sometimes you just need kazoo. Should I keep two kazoos? Because what if you need a kazoo duet? This is what happens every time. Maybe I should make a little bullet journal bag. That'd be cute. That'd actually be really nice. Let's set bullet journaling into its own category. I found a butterfly stamp this time. Does the butterfly stamp work? Yes! Also gets to get donated. Someone gets a butterfly stamp. I have too many colored pencils. These ones are really nice. I've had them since 2015 though and I still haven't used them. Um, because the same Christmas, two of my relatives got me colored pencils. One in this nice little tube, and one that are really cool because they're shaped like triangles and they're really comfy to hold. I don't need two sets of pencils, I need to let one go. Just because someone got something as a gift, you are not in charge of using it. Don't feel guilty. I'm at 24 minutes. I'm going to take a little break and come back and we'll do the hard decisions together. Alrighty, a lot of stuff has made it past my, uh, my strong hand here, but I have a few points of contention. The Sudoku to go book. Can I very easily do Sudoku on my phone? Yes. Have I gotten to a point where these puzzles are kind of difficult? Yes. Let's say goodbye. <laughs> I had a lot of trouble with my headbands. The thing is, I don't wear these cute little bow ones anymore, but I just feel bad because I just bought them last year. I've really been into the bandanas as headbands uh, deal, so I think I'm going to say goodbye to these ones. This one I literally got in like second grade and I've been holding on to it because I could like technically still fit it on my head, but it looks kind of goofy, but it's what I wore all the time in like elementary school for Valentine's Day, but whatever. I think I'm going to say goodbye to these three little 
little bow ones. Again, I just bought these a year and a half, almost two years ago <laughs> when I first cut my hair short. This one, I love the way it looks, but it's always been too small on me and I've had it for a while. So goodbye. This one, I just don't wear. Goodbye. Okay, honestly, still enjoy the flower crown trend. I got rid of a bunch of my scarves that I would use as headbands, but I think I might pass this one. It has a really weird color scheme. Like it has this dark teal, a lime green, white, a bubblegum pink, and a like really bright blue, but it's kind of cute. So I think I'm gonna keep this one. I bought these tiny pots at I think Savers, like definitely since I've started college. I'm having a harder time with things I've gotten since college because it feels like I just bought them, but I'm also having a hard time with older things because I can't get rid of them. It's fine. I am gonna say goodbye to these guys. Someone can get some tiny clay pots. I have this cat fabric from when I made the first cat cube. One, I wanna make another cat cube. Two, it can make like a really cute headband. Oh, like a little cat bandana. <gasps> okay, we're keeping it. Should I keep both pieces or is that just unnecessary? Okay. Here's the tea. This is my old camera. This is the camera that, oh my God, it has a battery charge, <laughs> that I got when I was 13. We were about to go to Florida. I filmed my first vlogs on this camera. I can't get rid of it, but I don't know what to do with it. Maybe, okay, I have those three cameras up on my desk. If you've seen my apartment tour, you know what I'm talking about. So maybe I should put it with those. But then I can get rid of these like extra cases that I haven't used because no device is shaped like this anymore. I ran into another colored pencil problem. I realized I have more colored pencils. Um, and these ones are a really nice Prismacolor set. There's 23. This one has 36, so it has more colors, but these color so nicely that I think I have to keep them. I'm gonna put them in my bullet journal bag that I'm gonna create. <sighs> my other point of contention is this dragon. I got it at Michael's. I convinced my dad that I really needed this plastic dragon, or I bought it, I don't remember. Likely I convinced my dad I needed this plastic dragon. I'm gonna donate the dragon. Bye, dragon. Okay, so we're gonna switch this up really fast. This is all the stuff that's staying. I know that's a lot of stuff, but I knew that a lot of this stuff was, like, I've planned on keeping it. This is the tiny pile of donate compared to this. I know. I, I know. I know. Honestly, okay, those paint tubes, they're gonna go. I don't need them. I have other acrylic paints. Look at me. Look at me go. My next step here is sorting, but I think I'm gonna do that on my own because I don't think it'll be super interesting. I'll check back in when I have my new seven bins. Okay, honestly, some really good paring down happened. So this far section over here is my randoms and my like decorations. Those used to be a bin each and now they're looking like an easy like half bin. This little section here is my electronics. The duct tape's not in the right place, but that's fine. Um, and those look like they're gonna fit into their one bin a lot nicer. This middle section with the markers is craft stuff. This was previously two bins and I'm gonna keep it that way, but they look like they're gonna be a little bit easier to access. And since I pared down on randoms and decor, I can finally have a winter stuff bin. This last section over here is just my two bedroom bins with my extra sheets and my headbands. I really need a better storage solution for my headbands. I kind of just dig in the bin each time, but they're a little bit nicer now. Thank you guys for watching this little video. I hope you enjoyed. Tomorrow I'm gonna be finishing up those candle gifts. We're gonna do some kind of decorating of the exteriors and we're gonna wrap them, which is like one of my favorite things in the entire world. Feel free to subscribe if you're interested in seeing that. I hope you have a great day, night, evening thing, and I'll see you tomorrow.